Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome to this video. I wanted to show you this book that I got recently. It's an encyclopedia of mushrooms and every single page is just loaded with weird pictures of mushrooms and I'm so excited. I love using mushrooms in collages just because they're such funny shapes. They're just such weird plants and they add character to any collage. So I was thinking we could use this book as sort of the main inspiration, main focus of today's collage and pull some mushrooms from here and do something weird with them. Maybe we can like put them in a place where they don't normally belong or we could like flip one upside down and make it like a boat and have something flowing down a river or we could have it be an umbrella or something. They're just such weird shapes. I think there's a lot of potential here and I'm very, very, very excited. <laughs> So normally I would, um, my first step would be pulling all the mushrooms that I liked from this book, but I actually think that today I want to start looking for sort of the environment that they'll live in first. And then just because there are so many mushrooms in here, I'm worried that if I just start pulling them, I'll have too many. And then I, I don't, I'll have to pull more once I do find the environment that I want them to be in. So I don't want to do that. I feel like that's a waste of time. I'm trying to be efficient over here. I was going to start by flipping through a few of these Nat Geos that I have, and maybe we can find some sort of landscape or some sort of thing to put them in. Um, I'm not exactly sure yet, obviously, but let's look through and see what we can find. Now let's walk through the few things that I found that maybe we can work with. So I found this sort of like desert scene, but I wanted to pair them with uh, these kids. So these kids are all looking down because they're playing with tops or something. And I thought maybe if I cut them out and put them in this desert scene that, and then put mushrooms, you know, growing and like they're looking at the mushrooms, that might be interesting because it's not like mushrooms would grow here because it's a very dry environment. And so they're sort of like looking at them because it's interesting that they're there. So I thought that that could maybe be one cool idea. The only thing is these people are, the kids are kind of big. I definitely wouldn't be able to use all of them. Maybe just these two and then like a bunch of mushrooms in one spot. I don't know exactly, but that is one idea. So the second idea that I have involves some old technology. Some of the Nat Geos that I have are older, so they have some ads in them that have like old technology in them, which is kind of funny. So I found this typewriter that I th was thinking if we had mushrooms sort of coming out the top, like where the paper would come out on a typewriter, uh, if they were big and colorful, that that would contrast really nicely with the black and white typewriter. Uh, that I think would be really cool. And then additionally, very similarly, this computer having mushrooms like coming out from the screen would be kind of cool and again this is like not a very colorful computer and so with colorful mushrooms I think that'd be a cool contrast so these two very similar idea but I think both could be really awesome so I actually really like this idea and the other idea with the kids and I think that we should just do all of them and and then see which one was we like at the end but I just think that all three of them are strong enough ideas that we should just move forward and um, make all of them and see what we like. So I think the next step is I'm gonna cut out some of this stuff but then also we have to go into the mushroom book and pull the mushrooms. And now that I have a good idea of the type of mushroom that I'm looking for, so you know for these two like I guess larger ones and very colorful, like I don't want white mushrooms for this, I want the like red ones, any other crazy colors. Um, this I think we could sort of go either way, but I do think that once I cut these out I'll be able to tell what better size of mushroom that I need. I think these should be larger, but this one I think might have to be a little bit smaller. So now that I have a better idea, I can go into the mushroom book and start pulling stuff. So let us do all that.
Look at all these mushrooms. We got mushrooms for days. Uh, mushrooms for days. All right, look at all these mushrooms. We are well on our way to being able to do this. So I think we're gonna start with the first collage, which I will start with the typewriter. Um, I, it's secretly the one I'm most excited for. Well, I just told you, so it's not a secret anymore. <laughs> But let me, sorry, I just had to get a piece of paper. Let's, what a mess. We got to move all this stuff. All right, get out of here. So we got our typewriter here. We have our pile of mushrooms. Let's start just putting them, putting them in places and see what looks good. All right, I've been playing around for a little bit and I think that this is the composition that I like. I, again, I for sure thought I was gonna load it up with just like hundreds of, not, not hundreds, that's kind of too many, but with a lot of them. But I think that this actually is a really nice balance. So I'm gonna stop here now for this one. And I think we should move over to the computer one because very similar, but I think, so the thing I was looking at was a lot of these, um, I love these mushrooms with really long tails, but I just weren't think, didn't think they were working with this. And I have a few others over here. And so I think they might actually work better on the computer. So let us move over to that one. All right, so I'm actually pretty happy with how this looks too. And I actually think that the two together, I have to be very careful while moving this. I actually think the two together look really cool together. Look at that. So I think that the, these two are done. Now we just have the one with the kids who are looking at the mushrooms left to do. And I think that we will be done with this then. All right, guys, I think that this turned out pretty awesome too. I really wanted to use these pink or purple mushrooms just because I thought they were so funny. They were long and skinny. So I put them in the background here because I thought that was kind of fun. Um, and then these kids looking at these mushrooms, I think that just this works really well together. I think it's really cute. I do have some leftover mushrooms that I didn't use, so I guess we'll have to use them some other time. But I think that this was really fun. I loved incorporating mushrooms in a bunch of different ways. And I think that these all turned out really cool. Here are the final three collages we made today. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite. And also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.